Hello to everyone and welcome to another Marina Genic video by Adventure Story channel. Today my dear friends you will have an opportunity to see video about air compressor. We will see some details and we will stand a little bit around the photos to check that details and also uh, you will see a description of overhauling. It will be very very nice you will see a lot of information and also I will share my knowledge with you. On the end of the video you will see a video of working compressor. We will see together what to check, what to see, so you will be able to determine any problems that can occur. The most important you must remember for air compressors is the lubricating system. There is a lubricator attached to the cylinder and there is some points from where the oil is entered inside the piston and the cylinder liner. Always check your lubricator and also have spare parts to replace this kind of equipment. As you know, in all the systems, the lubrication is the most important and we need to give a more attention in that case. Our next step will be to isolate the system and secure all the piping from the pressure. First of all, it comes the paperwork. Always remember that. You need to take the proper assessments you must prepare all the team and share the workload. So everything will be planned from before, how we will move. First of all, we will check all the spares that we have. And this is how always we move as you have understand. After the, all the assessments, uh, which will be made at the beginning, we will finalize our work and how we will move so we can make our overhaul safe and uh, it will be with the, with the quality uh, and the high standards of the manufacturer as much as possible. Okay, when we have make all the assessments, we go and isolate the power from the power panel. We will depressurize the line we will empty all the lubricants from uh, the compressor. We will put some notice that the personnel is working there. We will inform all the persons that will be a part of the work or not. Signs will be attached. And after we remove all the oil, we depressurize the line from the pressure. We are we are 100 percent, and we make always double check in case that something will go wrong. But anyway, if you do all the checks, there is no way for something to be wrong. And we open also the crankcases door. We clean inside. We inspect on the bottom here as you can see if there is any metal parts from the crankshaft bearings the main bearings that stands the crank we also open the filter as we can see here in this image and we check also on the filter if there is any metal parts from this we can understand the condition of our air compressor but the only thing that we found was uh, some dirty from the oil, not any metal. And here also we have a label from where we can determine the type of air compressor. First of all, what is very, very good to do is to write the pressure gauges before uh, overhauling to see how was the overall performance of air compressor. Here you can see that we have switch off the power and after that we will put also the sign and also lock the switch uh, with a 
work with er electrician and also here you can see we have our R meter we write down also the R meter so we can transfer it to PMS system plan maintenance system and from there will be countdown uh, and next overhauling as I have told it's really really big role to check the sump tank to clean all the places down and then we will empty all the water from the cooling spaces the water that cool down this air compressor is from central cooling it's the same water is street water fresh water and after we remove that we can remove also some parts of air compressor we can move some drain pipes all the piping will be removed there is a lot of the tools that we will need it's better to have all the tools that we will use proper there and then we can proceed to remove the cylinder head and to check also the valves the valves must be inspected and overhauled and also to check uh, for any leakages to determine if the valve is broken or not as you can see i have removed also the side covers the valves the suction valves and the delivery valves which is in the middle in this hole was already removed and also the cooler of air compressor has been removed so we will clean inside and when we will take place of cleaning it is a good practice to not leave any remainings there so it will not be trapped inside the piping this is where the filter the suction filter is placed also inside will be clean the filter will be blown by air in opposite side so all the dirt will go outside not inside and will be attached in the same position as you can see here there is a o-ring on the bottom which seals the surfaces and also must be checked for good condition and as you know we do not need any further leakages to be shown in engine room for any case and also all the leakages must be eliminated here I, uh, as you can see we have also on the top we have dismantled the delivery pipe for the air bottle for the main air bottle so we can remove the side cover and inspect the cooling chamber and the housing of uh, the air compressor the, the housing was found clean was not so much dirt inside and deposits the most dirt that we found was on the coil around and also the coil was inspected that all the tubes is in proper condition and do not have any damages as you can see here we have applied the gasket new gaskets always attached on the surfaces the surfaces will be clean and inspected for any damage and if there is any roughness any unbalanced surface it's better to apply a sealing compound or some silicone for proper sealing we do not like any water or any moisture to be mixed inside the compressor chamber because as you can see here there is a lot of passages on the top and for any case we do not like the water passing or the air passing to the water so we can see the piston here and the liner which is in very very good condition you can see the hole and through that hole the lubricant oil is injected through the lubricator the overall condition that we have seen in this cylinder and piston it's 
quite good it's very very nice and it's not necessary for any overhauling of the piston and the piston rings if there was any scratch any damage of piston rings for sure they will be scratched because this kind of pistons is made by aluminium and it's really really easy to make any seizure but the condition was fine we take measures with a micrometer inner micrometer so to determine that uh, the condition of the cylinder is proper also the oil filter element here was replaced and as you can see this black on the left this is the lubricator and the two pipes which going to two injectors for the lubricating oil so if you like and we can make also a video about the details of air compressor with sketch with drawings and here also you can see the ceiling copper ring which seals the housing with the suction or delivery valves this is our cooling coil from where from one side is passing air and from other side is passing water so the water will cool down all the place all the valves there all the round space to not overheat as you know when we compress uh, the air the temperature increases really really high and here you can see the air compressor after overhauling after finish of overhauling this is about one or two months of working how it performed you can see that we have water cooling pressure we have lubricating pressure we have first stage and second stage also and you can listen the noise how it performs very important is to check also the amperage before and after the pressures before and after and the temperatures around and also to check the cooling here the outlet of the cooling and here we can see the amperage and here the air enters inside the air compressor to the first stage so it will be compressed further hope guys you like this video we have a lot of things to tell about air compressors a lot of things to be careful and the most important always remember in all the machineries also is to check the bolts of the base that the machinery is stands some of the problem can also start from there as your equipment will be not aligned so this also will lead to unbalanced working of the equipment and sometimes the problem also starts from there which we also need to check this is one thing that you have learned in this video but will remain in your mind forever thank you that you are stay tuned to adventure story channel i love to make videos for you and share my knowledge and hope you also like these videos see you soon guys don't forget adventure story